Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to my Mercury LMG durability demonstration. My Mercury LMG is an obsidian tier LMG. That means that I have selected the obsidian path on my tier 4 evolution so that I can keep my durability on the weapon. I don't, however, have as high damage per bullet. So there is like a trade-off between amount of damage per bullet attack speed and the durability of the weapon. As we can see here, shooting one time with the weapon really doesn't increase the durability on the weapon every single time, meaning that once again we have a weapon where we can see a 0.05 durability decrease on every single bullet, meaning that we need to shoot 20 times to use one durability on the weapon. This allows us once again to hit 7,500 bullets within the weapon. So in order for this weapon here to break, we're gonna fire 7,500 bullets and spend no less than 75 magazines before it breaks. This all translates into 14.62 minutes of bullet time. That is the amount of time it takes to fire 7,500 bullets and five minutes of reloading time for the 75 magazines. But wait, we've seen these numbers before. Let us compare them to the Obsidian Nocturno, also with a 0.05 durability per shot. Yes, with 7,500 shots before it breaks, with 10.42 minutes and 250 clips worth seven and a half minutes of game time in reload 17.92 weapon so yeah all right we have a longer bullet time than the nocturno on the mercury lmg it fires the same amount of bullets but it takes longer time for it to do it but it has a shorter reload time on the magazine so we have less reloads 75 instead of 255 and we do that faster but the actual bullet shooting is slower than that both of the weapons deal energy damage, so that's like decent against pretty much everything. So yeah, I mean, um, what do we actually have here in the Mercury LMG? Well, we have the same weapon pretty much as the Nocturno. It is like an all-round good weapon. You can fire this weapon here for several missions. If you're casual players, you can probably use this for several days before it breaks. You have around 20 minutes of hardcore game time in one weapon. You can shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot for almost 20 minutes in a row, including reloads, before this weapon breaks here. So is it worth trading for? Absolutely. If you don't have the schematic, it's, it's a weapon. It deals energy damage. It can damage any kind of husk in the game without taking a penalty. From my perspective, the Mercury LMG is like the Bacon Burners Nocturno. It is a really good LMG weapon. It has a decent fire rate. It has a huge amount of magazine size, meaning that you can like really take advantage of Bulletstorm Jonesy with it if you have that hero. But even if you don't, it's a pretty good LMG that will take you quite away in the game. All in all, guys, is the Mercury LMG worth getting if you are a progressional player? Yes, if you can afford to make energy ammunition for it, I feel that it is as good, if not better, than the Nocturno. It really comes down to your playstyle, but all in all, durability-wise, Mercury LMG, absolutely worth obtaining. That was what I had to share in this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, thank you very much and very much for watching.